channel and uh, so we are uh, already have started this particular uh, series of capital XC where we have discussed three lessons where uh, in the last lesson we have discussed about how to manage the cavity uh, of component particular component uh, how we can manage and how we can uh, you know edit those information in the capital XC where we have seen how to add the terminal part number seals plug and how to edit the connector as well so but i have got one feedback that that particular video was not clear uh, and not readable so you please give me the comments whatever you feel bad or good so i will try to improve whether uh, you know in which direction on on which um, uh, particular point i can uh, you know improve so you please i try to make it more clear this video and you can see and if you like please comments on the comment sections you know i am making some effort i am putting some effort okay in all these making the videos so that at least you please put uh, your comments whether you are getting helped and i am sure that by viewing all these video which i have on my channel you will definitely crack your interview or you will get your knowledge uh, you know increased by all these video so my only request please like comments on this channel so that you will uh, you will get uh, the benefit and others will also get the benefit by sharing these videos so let's start without wasting time so how to do the uh, wire table addition in the diagram uh, if it is not there already so we will see through the style set how we can do um, but uh, if you see right now in capital XC, you can get the wire table uh, automatically when we synchronize that particular, uh, you know, through the uh, capital logic build list. If you synchronizing, it will come automatically. So today we will see this style set and how to add the wire table in the diagram. Okay, so let's start. So I'm playing one video as I already told you. Uh, so let's start and we will see some points. So here you can just go to the edit and uh, here you can go to the edit then you just go to the style set then so well if you see the under the design you go to style set under the design then tables under the tables you can just click on the new table decoration then wire table addition then click on ok then wire table under this normal origin you can give the horizontal and vertical offset as well and you can pr provide the value of origin offset and the uh, vertical offset just hit the ok then you go to your directly if you see here still the wire table does not appear so you can go and update your border then it will automatically but generally it goes if you see the latest version of this capital logic so you will get automatically this wire table updated here so we will just try to understand this wire table here so you can see here the, this is the wire number so you can see the wire numbers are 6013 6015 so depend on the oem it can be the any nomen nomenclature for these wire numbers it can start with the c105 or it, it can any numbers it can be started or numerical number it can start then this is index nothing index is nothing but the serial number then you have the part number then from and two cavity okay so here from the from is this is the device name device name or component name from this component to this particular component p60 cavity 10 is connected to cavity 2 of this particular then this is the size of the wire which is given in this and then you have the color color of the wire that this is black red green then you can see the m by c this is nothing but multi core okay so multi core is given for the generally for communication lines okay we will discuss about in detail that where we have to give the multi core and the twisted condition where we have to give so we will just we will discuss this thing in length you can see the length column where you will get this length automatically if you have synchronize your mcad mcad is nothing but nx to capital xc if you synchronize that particular file then it will automatically update it then material uh, what type of material you have used or length you can update manually as well but it is not the physical feasible way to update the manually it will it should and it will be updated uh, automatically so this is all about the wire table for the particular uh, wired wiring diagram so if you have any question on this you please let me know so i can uh, uh, 
discuss on this so these are the component of any harness you can see that bundles nodes connector clips fixture assembly grommet splices wires then insulation multi cores overbread then location of that and then uh, ring terminal the other component comes like uh, leave, uh, suppose you have the uh, back cell of the connector or the lever or some other extra part of that particular or you are giving the identification level to the harness so these co things comes under the other part so this is how you can add the wire table in your harness in the uh, particular harness however it can it will come during the synchronization the automatically this particular harness uh, the 